Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about whether or not teeth cleanings cause gaps between your teeth. And before we jump in, let me quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Lots of people wonder and ask me if getting a cleaning at the dentist will create gaps between their teeth. And the answer is no, it won't. If you have gaps between your teeth or black triangles, as some describe them as, it's not that the cleaning caused them, they were always there, but it's that they are most often and noticed right after a cleaning because if you had plaque and tartar buildup in those areas, now the plaque and tartar is gone after the cleaning, that plaque and tartar had been cleaned away, exposing the already present black triangles between a few or all of your teeth. But to fully understand, let's go over why these gaps or black triangles are actually there in the first place. There are five main reasons. And by the way, I used the term black triangle and I just want to explain that it's not really black triangles between your teeth. What you're seeing in that empty space is actually a shadow. It may appear to look black in some photos, but it's not. Okay, so the five reasons this happens. One, gum recession. With healthy gums, they attach to your teeth right where the root starts. And between each tooth, the gums project out in a pointed edge that we call the papilla. But when gums pull back for one reason or another, a condition we call gum recession, it basically erases the papilla and also starts to expose the root of the tooth. I do have a video all about gum recession, reasons why gum recession itself happens, and treatment options. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll link that video of mine in the bottom bar below. Two, poor dental hygiene. If you aren't keeping your gums clean, including underneath the edges, it's easy for them to get infected. In turn, they pull away from your tooth, which can also be related to gum recession. However, maybe you are cleaning your gums and flossing each day, but being too aggressive, which can also cause gum recession. Harsh brushing or jabbing straight down into your gums with floss instead of sliding gently under them can permanently damage the shape of your gingival tissues, thus creating the black triangle look. To confirm that you are brushing and flossing properly, I will link my brushing and flossing technique videos in the bottom or below as well if you'd like to learn more. Three, bone loss. Periodontal disease or gum disease causes both bone and gum loss. When there's active bacteria under your gums, the bone naturally starts to resorb or shrink in that location. And anytime we lose bone, the gum tissues soon follow. Symptoms include tooth mobility, which is loose teeth, and teeth gaps, which can look like black triangles on your teeth. I have another series of videos all about gum disease, gingivitis, and bone loss, which I will link all of those videos in the bottom row below as well. Lots of supplemental videos will be linked to this video because it all relates. Four, orthodontic devices or treatment. Occasionally, we can see gum recession caused by aggressive orthodontic therapy or maybe even an appliance rubbing your gums unnaturally. Perhaps the appliance is old and needs to be adjusted like a mouth guard or a retainer, or the teeth are being moved too quickly. That's why things like fast braces or accelerated orthodontics are not appropriate for everyone and you should always get a consultation with a dentist and or orthodontist before getting your heart set on a certain type of teeth straightening system. And you know it, I'll link my braces video in the bottom row below as well. And lastly, number five, tooth shape. Teeth come in all shapes and widths. Typically, they're wider at one area of the crown and then more narrow near the gum line. And even though each of our teeth are different, they still line up alongside each other nicely. But if you have an irregular shaped tooth, such as a peg lateral or something like that, lots of people are just born with tooth anomalies. It's just how you were made, it's all good. But it can sometimes automatically cause the gums around it to look misshaped as well, like a black triangle. Usually in this case, if someone is unhappy with how their teeth look, they usually have the option to get cosmetic crowns or veneers, which of course I'll link those videos of mine in the bottom bar below as well. In all, if you're worried that perhaps you're starting to see the early stages of black triangles between your teeth, you can prevent them from forming. The key is to see your dentist regularly for exams, talk to your dental hygienist about the best oral hygiene plan, and take good care of your gums at home. Pro tip, to keep your gums nice and tight around your teeth at home, flossing is the first step or any type of cleaning in between your teeth, such as interdental brushing and water flossing. And again, I'll be linking all my technique videos in the bottom bar below for you. If you do end up going down a rabbit hole watching all these videos mentioned in the bottom bar, I hope you have fun learning more and more about healthy teeth and healthy mouths. Thank you so much for watching this one. Please like and subscribe if it helped you. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.